Hi everyone, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Saturday Morning Makes with Jill Norwood. Um, I'm going to get started just sharing with you um, what I used and then I will share my projects with you. Okay, so Saturday Morning Makes is uh, just a little collaboration that Jill Norwood started for herself um, to give herself a little bit of time in the morning on Saturday morning to create something and then share it. Well, it has become a big, huge thing. Um, anybody and everybody could join, um, and they have. And you don't have to make a specific um, craft. You could do um, anything, jewelry, altering things, sewing, knitting, cards, scrapbooking, painting, whatever you want to do. It's um, just give yourself a little bit of time on Saturday mornings, make something, and then share it. Hashtag it set more mix and the hashtag will be down below if you'd like to copy it. If you do not do videos, you can go over to Instagram and post your pictures over there and hashtag it set more makes over there with Jill Norwood or Facebook or Pinterest, wherever you want to um, social media, whatever platform you want to put it on, you can. So you don't have to do uh, YouTube videos. So it's been a huge success and for Jill and you know, just, just to think that she just did this for herself just to start a little thing and then it got so big. So it is so much fun and I have already talked to Jill. Jill thought maybe she would stop it at the end of the year, but um, I told her it's so much fun and I hope she doesn't stop it because um, I'm having a blast and I know a lot of other people are having so much fun creating as well. So, all right, so let's get started. Um this, I'm just going to share a few things. The papers that I used, I did not uh, leave out because all I had left was scraps. And basically, I have a whole iris case full of random Christmas papers. And I've been working through them, trying to uh, use those up before I go into like um, a new 12 by 12. So the papers that I've used are just random. Okay. Um, but I did use a piece of this glitter paper on one of my cards. And this glitter paper came from Michael's in a 12 by 12 and it doesn't shed at all. It's a really nice glitter paper and it cuts really well. Um, I used some of this burlap ribbon with snowflakes on it. I think I used that on one of my cards. I used this uh, twine on one of my cards, kind of the craft color. I used the thin line, <clears throat> excuse me red line tape this tape this tape is so strong and i love doing this when i'm putting a ribbon down on a card because it really sticks okay <coughs> excuse me um this is the stamp set that i used this week and i used the tall snowman i used this snowman i used this i used this i used this and i think i used both sentiments on this set it was a brand new set when i opened it and I used it, all the pieces and I just put it right back in the in the um, case. Okay, so this is called Snow Much Fun and it is from Stampin' Up. And I'm not sure it has a date. Let me look. Let me look on that uh, sheet. Usually, sometimes they have it on here. Uh, I don't see a date, but I don't think it's that old. Um, I got this probably a few years back. So, um, it's called Snow Much Fun, and I'm sure you could probably find that at eBay if you look. Um, all right, so for dies, I use this. Uh, this is actually a Penny Black Wavy die set. And then this is a Gina Marie Scallop Square set. Okay, so I use both those sets of dies. And then um, this is uh, some parchment paper. Now, this came in one of the lots that I bought. And I figured it says an announcement invitations awards. I've never used this paper before. And I thought, well, it's 24 pounds. There's 100 sheets in here. I didn't want to um, throw it out or anything like that. So I decided I was going to try it out. And it actually worked out pretty good. It's a really, really thin, as far as I'm concerned, it's like, it's like um, really thin. It's only 24 pounds. But it has like... Um, <clears throat> there's like a waviness inside it. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the camera, but it's like an off white cream color. I don't know. It, it's, um, I figured I can use it in my crafts because I have 
like a hundred pieces here. Um, and like I said, this is what it's called. I got it in a lot of stamps that I got. So, um, yeah, I figured I might as well use it. So I did use that. Okay. And let me move this stuff out of the way and then I will share with you my cards. Okay. So this is the first one. And I think it came out super, super cute. Now you see, this is the parchment paper right here. And what I did was I used my um, distressor, um, this thing here. They come in different um, categories. This is a Tim Holtz one. Um, and it has knives inside there and they're at different lengths, depending on how bad you want to scratch up your paper. So that's what I did with the top of that parchment paper. And then I used oxide on it. And then the Christmas paper in the background with the snowflakes is um, uh, like a brown, brownish color. And then this brown paper I embossed with a, oh, I forgot to leave the embossing folder out. Um, I used the embossing folder on this um, page here. And what I did was I put some, I, I ran the um, oxide over it, but then when I went to spray it or put stickles, um, it kind of turned like that goldish color which I think is all right. I mean, it doesn't, it's not what I meant it to look like, but um, I think it's still okay. Um, I put a little snowflake up here and it was too white. It was popping out really, really white. So I ran the um, walnut stain over the top of that to dull it down. Here's where I used that little jupe. I put a little uh, bow on the tree and I colored the with Copics, I colored the um, snowman up and the tree, the little birds. So I thought it came out really, really cute. And then here's the inside and it says, hope your Christmas is snow much fun. Snow much fun, <laughs> so cute. So I just brought the papers in from the outside. Here's that parchment paper again, um, stamped out that sentiment and it's ready to go. So that's the first card. Um, and then I did this card here. And it's kind of the same concept except for different papers. Um, so this one I used like a, a tan rick rack uh, primitive, not, um, oh my gosh, gingham in the background, plaid gingham. And then there's snowflake layer with the burgundy. And then here's where I used the penny black wavy uh, dye and that was around the outside. I used that one. Oh, I didn't use that one in there. No, I didn't use it on this one. This one is the one I used it on. Okay, so now remember when I said in here, it says, hope your Christmas is snow much fun. Right there on the sentiment. Okay, so what I did was I stamped that out on some parchment paper, and then I cut the little word snow much fun out and I put a little bit of this burgundy with the snowflake behind each one. And I just put them on here, snow much fun. I just broke the sentiment up and I used those on the front. Super cute. I used a uh, red and tan or red and coffee colored uh, gingham color with Copics. I gave them a little, a little blue scarf to match the blue birds. And I think it came out really cute. And so here's the inside and there's that parchment paper again. And then my signature on the back. So that, oh, and you know what I meant to tell you too? Um, the reason this is so glittery is because I use stickles, but then I sprinkled this over the top of the glitter glue, okay? This is, I had this for years. This is a Martha Stewart Holidays Coarse Glitter. And I had picked this up at Michael's, like, I don't even know, you guys. It was so long ago. Michael's don't carry Martha Stewart, I don't think, anymore either. Um, so, yeah, it's a really coarse white glitter. And so what I did was I put the stickles on, and then I sprinkled that white glitter on there. So it made it really chunky. Now, hopefully you can see. Can you see the chunkiness of the of the snow? It's so pretty. So I did that one. Okay. And then my last card looks like this. And this is the other snowman in that set. 
So I used the tall snowman on these two. I used the tree over here. I used the little ball and bird on this card here. And then I used this little guy in the, in the stocking. I stamped the guy out first, then I stamped the stocking in his little hand there. And here's that scallop stitch Jean Marie die square. Put some of that paper and there's that ribbon, that burlap with the white uh, snowflake. And I put some oxide around the white. Here's that glitter paper at the bottom. And then um, it says, uh, snow buddy like you. Let me see. Snow buddy like you as much as me. So cute. And so then these little um, pieces here are from a Christmas sheet of these from Hobby Lobby. I bought them when they were 40%. Now Hobby Lobby has 50%. But they have these little, what are these called? Holly berries. Um, they had these little stickers on a sheet. And I bought them um, a couple weeks ago. So that is the third card. And then here's the inside. And then the signature. So those are the three cards that I have for you today. For this week's Saturday Morning Makes. I hope you like them. And I hope that you, if you not have already joined, I hope you will join us and hashtag your videos so we can come over and check you out. And um, yeah, so get out those old stamp sets, you guys. Put them to good use. All right. All right, everybody. I hope you all had a beautiful, great Thanksgiving yesterday. Um, oh, I should say Thursday because I'm recording this on Friday. That's why I said yesterday. Um, but I hope you enjoyed your families and you had a good meal and um, we will see you in the next video. Okay, everybody. Bye